Okay. Yeah, so that's it. So this is chapter three, right? Mm -hmm. so we're looking at uh, um, data structures and mm -hmm. and sequences. Mm -hmm. so there's uh, there's this uh, slides on like I'll be using that, but I can, I'll also switch from the slides to the to the the the, the main text, the main book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we look at uh, built-in data structures, functions, and uh, and and files. And and feel feel free to interrupt me at any time. Like also, if there are some concepts that I feel that I I can't explain properly, just feel free to 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 explain it better. Mm -hmm. So he starts with uh, tuples. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it's a tuples uh, uh, in Python. Uh, like uh, 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 basically they are ordered. Uh, maintain so like they, they always maintain their order and um, tuples are immutable that is you can't change them once you build it you can't change it like uh, if we want to change uh, Jessica here to to maybe to Jones or something like that that's not going to be possible you can't change it yeah stuff like this um, uh, tuples can contain data uh, contain uh, tuples can contain data of types or like of different types um, they also allow duplicates as opposed to sets which don't allow duplicates. So I could have had uh, uh, 20 here and also at the end I have 20 or I have Jessica here and also had Jessica at the end. Uh, but one of the main features is like uh, you, you, it's separated by, by commas and the indexing we can see starts from zero, which is uh, very important in Python that uh, is different from other languages. The, the indexing starts from zero, one, two, and three. So if we want to get the uh, the 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 first element, we just like t of zero. It gives us twenty. It is the the first uh, element in this tuple. A tuple is a fixed length immutable sequence of Python objects, which once assigned cannot cannot be changed. Like you mentioned, the easiest way to create uh, one is with a comma separated sequence of values wrapped in parentheses, like this. This is a uh, a, a, a tuple. So we we could uh, even uh, omit the parentheses, but it still be a tuple. So the, the main thing here it's like the uh, the comma separated, and we could also use the function tuple to transform or to convert any sequence or iterate for in a in a in a tuple. Like uh, this is an example. Yeah. Um. So uh, I think. Uh, I did some, yeah, so we could see some uh, Jupyter notebooks on, on that. Okay. Like, uh, that's a, a tuple. So we could assess the element. So like the, the zeroth element here would be S and um, uh, like that, like that sequence. So like here, if we want to get the, the let's say the, the, if you want to get the fifth, uh, no, let's say the fourth element, we'll see that uh, that is going to be something like uh, M. I, no. oh. is it that I didn't run it or it's indicating an error? Oh, it's in. Yeah, you have to run it first. Post yeah, I have to run it first. Uh, yeah, then you run this. That's fine. Yeah, so then and, that, and, that's going to be end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's going to be end. Yeah, so we could see the the indexing starts from 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 zero, which uh yeah. So uh, the second the here in this uh, particular tuple we could see the 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 second element, which is two, it's a uh, it's true. Since it, the counting starts from zero, so this is the zero. Uh, uh, this is the first element, and that's the second one, and the the third one. So uh, that's about indexing. It uh, tuples of tuples. You mentioned something like nesting of like uh, of, of of tuples. Like uh, nested tuple, we have this. Um, you could see. 
So in this uh, uh, nested tuple, we could see we like uh, we have a tuple inside a tuple. So uh, the zero, uh, the first element is this, and then the second one is this. So this is he's just showing us that we can uh, uh, tuples are immutable. Like here, we could see the 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 second uh, the, the the yeah the third element is true. So if we want to set it to false, it, it gives us an error. Like it says that uh, the type error tuple object does not support item uh, assignment. So we can we can. So if an object inside a tuple is mutable, such as a list, we can uh, modify it uh, in place. So like uh, um, here, it gives an example of this. You know, this is a list in a tuple. So he's like saying that we can modify this. Uh, this list. So initially it was one and two. We added, uh, we append it. We use the uh, append method and add uh, another, another element. In it. So he also su suggests that you know, mm. like like uh, here, if we just say group and then we have the dot, we could see. Uh, mm, Okay, no. Uh, let's see, four. And then we have the dot. Uh, now I wanted to see the options. Anyways. So we can also con uh, add uh, tuples together. We can concatenate tuples with the the plus sign. Yeah. To make it uh, longer. It. He also mentions about unpacking uh, tuples. Yeah. Like just. Uh, um, yeah. So when we have this tuple assigned to this. Um, so when we uh, assign these elements to the the, the 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 tuple, what it does it it, it gives each uh, it assigns each uh, of these uh, letters to the the values in the tuple. And we could also do the reverse uh, like that. So a common uh, use of uh, uh, variable unpacking is it like iterating over iterating sorry iterating over sequences of uh, tuples or lists. So we have like this uh, sequence of uh, of tuples. So we have this. So we could use the for loop and say for um, a b c in the sequence uh, print um, a is equals to the the first value uh in this sequence and b is the second value and and c is the second value and then if we print out we have something like this so mm -hmm. we are seeing that uh, yeah sorry no 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 go ahead yeah 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 so, so we could see it uh using the for loop so we are iterating through this uh sequence and it uh, uh, uh this is something that you know i um, mean you always have to do uh, and so it mentions the the rest method Syntax for plugin elements. So basically, basically just completing elements. You just type some, like, uh, like this is the value. We have value. It's uh, uh, this tuple, and we 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 want to assign a b, and we want this rest function completes the rest, which the, the the remaining three values. Then you know if we print out rest, we see rest is the remaining three values. So he is saying that most programmers prefer to use the the underscore as opposed to rest. The tuple method we have the count, which is uh, not only in tuple but it's something that you know is uh, used uh, frequently. Since the size and content of uh, a tuple cannot be modified, it is a uh, uh, very light on instance method. A particular useful one is 
uh, also available on this account. So the, the count uh, method just um, counts the, the the number of instances uh, mm, uh, to, to appears in this uh, tuple. Yeah, it's it's is it? Uh, I don't know if tuples are something that are can be used especially in data analysis. I don't know what what you think about that. Mm. Yeah, it's, this is a actually very unique kind of a data structure compared to R, because yeah. R does not have uh, this kind of a uh, data type because most of the R is the vector based kind of a uh, data structure, and then uh, those vector based structure actually update and what I would say about the mutable and copy and yeah. pasting it so yeah. it is a little bit more flexible but tuple is a little bit slightly kind of a fixed length and then a fixed kind of variable but sometimes this one is a very useful especially for the once we get the this kind of a length of the data set and then uh, it actually give us about a very good useful kind of uh, approaches because the data is fixed yeah, and then that means maybe in in this example like a eight count function, mm -hmm. so we can that actually allows us to the easily find out to the number of uh, number of uh uh the the count yeah yeah with the number two yeah so that is actually four so this kind of a data manipulation or a data counting system gonna be sometimes very useful. Sure. Cause yeah, cause compared to the other vector based languages, maybe R also can do that. But the thing is this one is also kind of very useful cause I, yeah. I also not familiar with the, this kind of a approaches, but yeah, cause uh, it's a fixed length and then uh, not updatable and not mutable. So, yeah, maybe there might be the way we can use these kind of approaches, but yeah, yeah I still okay. figuring out. Yeah, yeah, I, I think maybe in the subsequent chapters he might uh, use this to do some um, analysis. Yeah. I I hope so. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, you're gonna do the next one like a list and dictionary mm -hmm. is the actually as far as I know, list and dictionary is the what mostly used, cause uh. Whenever we actually uh importing importing loading the, our data set, those data set usually store as a dictionary or list kind of functions, or maybe data frame in pandas because uh, yeah. in, in pandas they actually have uh, their own unique type called data frame, like a like a same thing about the data frame in R. In R so yeah. we usually use those kind of approaches, but this one is actually kind of a built in kind of a data structure and data type used in Python. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, thank you for those comments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we look at Lis, uh, Lis and, and Python. Uh, we could have, we could notice that it has like uh, the square mm -hmm. brackets. That's one mm -hmm. main difference with a, uh, with a, with a tuple. Tuple, yeah. Yeah, but the indexing is still the same. It starts from zero, which is completely different from other languages like R and stuff. So this is something one has to, like, I think as you work with Python, you get used to this, that index starts from zero. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, it's uh, ordered, uh, it uh, maintained its uh, order of the data in Charson, so you can reverse the order. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's mutable com uh, as opposed to a tuple, which it's immutable, uh, a tuple is, uh, a list is mutable. We can modify the the the, the items. Uh, it's uh, heterogeneous. List can contain uh, data of different types. Yeah. It uh, it allows uh, duplicates of, of of values. I think it's only a set the set that doesn't allow for duplicates. But I think the other uh, data types do allow uh, duplicates or structures. In contrast to tuples, lists are. Uh, variable length and uh, lists are uh, variable length and their content uh, can be uh, modified uh, in place. So it's like the main difference is they are, uh, they are mutable compared to tuples which are immutable. So it uses the square bracket and uh, 
We can also use the list function to convert any uh, particular sequence to uh, a list. Uh, a list, we have this. Mm -hmm. uh, a tuple, this is a tuple. We use the list, list function and then we convert this uh, tuple to a list. Mm -hmm. So we use the indexing. This will be give us the second element. Uh, we can assign the second element to uh, peekaboo instead of bar. We can change it so so that it is uh, uh, mutable. If it were a tuple, it would have given us an error. List and tuple are semantically similar. Those tuples cannot be modified and can be used uh, interchangeably in many in many uh, functions. So he gives an example like generate uh, function. Uh, this generate like a range from like zero to ten. Gen it uh, gives you the the range will be from zero to ten. You can convert this to uh, a list, even though it's like this. It's a tuple. But you could just convert it to a list and it, it lists all the elements from zero to nine. Mm -hmm. uh, adding and removing a list. So we look at some list methods. So so what it does, it brings you the, 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 uh, the data type or the data structure, and then it gives uh, the various types that we, or various functions that we use to do some adjustments with this particular uh, data type. The append method it starts with append method. Basically, the append method is just to let's say addition to add stuff like this. So uh, b dot list we append it uh, dot append we add the draft and then it adds the draft. We could also insert. So the, the I think the main difference between the append and the append just adds just adds another element to your list. While insert uh, I mean adds it at a specific uh, uh, point like. Uh, we insert at the 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 second element. We insert red, so now red is going to be the second element, as opposed to the the append, which just adds. Uh, inside is uh, compatible more. Uh, inside is computationally more expensive than than append. Um, computationally more uh, expensive than append. So it, it uses more computation memory as in? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Because the list of because the list by itself, when I just uh, Google the tuple and list, mm -hmm. actually uh list uh tuple is a uh, tuple actually spend uh, less memory than the mm -hmm. list. Because mm -hmm. uh tuples actually automatically fixed length and then uh, automatically short uh, sorted kind of a data structure. So that means it's a very fixed, and then uh, it actually prevents about the accidental modification of the database. That's another way. Yeah, you can yeah click the that link and then uh, it actually oh, yeah, yeah oh, have uh, oh. Oh. yeah, oh, and then also access gonna be the much faster. That's what they said, and then oh, they are also a bit yeah. faster, especially when uh. You yeah. are looking up looking at the have... yeah, values, yes. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's nice. Yeah. Hmm. And then uh, there is uh, something you can store the data set that does not change, and then uh, updating at all. It that's uh, actually store as a uh, tuple gonna be more useful, and then because it always has that position, that location, and then uh. We can always importing those values and then using that for the data analysis sometimes. But list is the more expensive means uh, list actually takes more memory because uh, it actually yeah. allows mm -hmm. us to the updating modification kind of a functions. So those are the actually takes the more memory and then uh, we can always updating and manipulating the, the data set. So depending on the size of the data, list gonna be getting bigger and bigger depending on our data set. So that actually takes a lot of memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thanks for that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So it explains the pop method, uh, the inverse mm -hmm. of, uh, of insert, which is just which, which, is, which is just similar to remove, only that uh, it, uh, before it removes, mm -hmm. it tells you the, 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 the value it's like removing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tells you that it removes this value. So like when we just mm -hmm. say dot pop, uh, the second element, no, the third element, mm -hmm. sorry, it mm -hmm. removes, automatically removes the, the third element. Yeah. But yeah. It, it tells you that, oh, this is the element that is dropped. 
basically mm. this is this is the the main difference between this uh dot mm. pop and and remove mm. while remove just removes it there and it doesn't tell you that it has removed mm. uh this particular um element the mm. append uh, it has talked about the append i don't know why it's repeating it or it wants mm. to show the remove which just removes it mm. yeah Oh. Yeah, cause uh, yeah, yeah. When we using the remove functions, it actually moves the moves the element from the list yeah. that identifying the first time. Yeah, first uh, instance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah first yeah, instance. Yeah. But yeah. pop actually designate the location. Yeah. Yeah. It gives a specific yeah. location. In, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Specific location. Mm. So. So, cause uh, that's the differences. Remove actually just uh, just the removing the very first instance mm -hmm. with uh, that that element, yeah. but pop actually that we can designating the exact location of the elements from the list that we want to remove. So sure. that's the kind of thing. So yeah, that's that's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we can look at the keyword. We can use uh, uh check mm -hmm. if uh. This contains uh, a value using the in keyword. So dwarf mm -hmm. uh, in the B list, uh, which is which mm -hmm. is true. So it gives true. Mm -hmm. uh, the keyword mm -hmm. not can be used to negate mm -hmm. in. So which mm -hmm. is also false because we have dwarf in this list. So concatenation yeah. and uh, combining lists, just like what we did with tuples. So I'll just mm -hmm. move. We just add. So mm -hmm. uh, I mean we can expand our our our, our list. We can also mm -hmm. use the the extend method as opposed to mm -hmm. the addition method, mm -hmm. and it makes a point that uh, list con concatenation by addition is an expensive operation, like we explained expensive mm -hmm. previously. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's better to use the extend as mm -hmm. opposed to using the addition. So in in a, in 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 brief, you know, the extend will use less uh, computational memory compared to if we use mm -hmm. the the addition to, to concatenate this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like, it's faster as well. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, 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 the using the extend uh, method will be faster than just using the addition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's good to know. So we could also use the sort, uh, the, mm -hmm. the sort method, which automatically sorts our, our list for us. Mm. Oh, now we look at slicing. I think when you are slicing, that's the point when the, the index becomes very important, you know, because mm -hmm. if you're not, if you, if you don't know how the index works, then you just mix, mix, mix up the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So slicing, uh, yeah, slicing, uh, semantics takes a bit of, uh, a bit of getting used, used to, especially if you are coming from R or MATLAB. Mm -hmm. Have you, have you used MATLAB before? Oh, uh, no, I didn't use it, but. I yeah I didn't use it. I'm not familiar with the math lab. So yeah yeah I I did I I did use it. So the the, mm. the interesting thing about MATLAB it it takes everything as a matrix. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Everything is everything is a matrix. So you like mm. if you are using it all the data. So everything is matrix mm. and and that's that's how it works. Yeah, mm. yeah, using index okay. uh, yeah operator. Yeah, so it gives you uh, an uh, I think. Uh, the book explains this license a bit more. Uh, yeah, so um, so the you can uh, select sections of most sequence types by using a slice notation, which mm -hmm. in its basic form consists of start and stop. It could also have a, a step, but the, the default step is always considered to be one, like just the, the, the default step. But it could you could have uh, your stepping uh, uh, pass to the index operator. So we have the sequence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have the sequence. Uh, I think someone is trying to join. Yeah, I just because uh, I, I just uh, kind of uh, uh, log into the by using my iPad. So just ah, yeah, go oh, ahead. Yeah. 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 So 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 we have this. Uh, uh, sequence. We want to uh, slice it from the the second element to the fifth element. So notice what slicing does. It includes the first uh, uh, element in your slice, 
but it doesn't include the last one. So since the index uh, starts from zero, so this is zero, this is one. So we have one, which is two, and then we have three, which is three. We have four, but five is not included. I think this is the tricky part for me when it comes to slicing. So five is not included. So that's why the, the sequence, if we, uh, we slice it from one to five, we have two, three, uh, seven and five. So basically it's this. Yeah. So slicing could also assign. So we could, uh, we assign this particular slice from three to five, we assign it to this value. So, so basically this, we just look at this slice, this three to five, where it is. So three to five, this is zero, one, two, three. That is this, this two. We, we assign it. Initially it was, it would have been this. It would have been uh, seven and five. Initially it would have been seven and five, but that seven and five, uh, we assign it to like uh, um, six and three. So basically we could omit this stat like here, but when we mm -hmm. omit this stat, it uh, it takes the default stat, which is the big the 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 the, the, the beginning of the sequence. Mm -hmm. We could also uh, omit the end. It takes the default end, which is the actual end of the slice. So negative slice uh, sequence uh, ne ne negative indices slice the sequence relative to the end. So this is where it, it starts to get a, a bit tricky mm -hmm. when you are like uh, dealing with negative. So, because it's slicing the sequence related to the end. So it's a, a bit more like a, a bit more tricky sort of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if like if you have any comments on this, I think, yeah. And, and also it's possible that, you know, like if you didn't put any of the values, then it means you are, it indicates that you are slicing over the entire sequence. Mm. I, I don't know, it, it doesn't mention that, but I think I saw that somewhere. Like if I write sick, and then um, let 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 me try that and see. Yeah, so let's see. Mm. I this is I, I'm not sure if it works. Yeah, so it 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 yeah. does that. It, it just takes the entire. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it it just takes the entire. So that was what I meant. Yeah, it is also pretty similar. I think it's almost the same in R because uh, R also has the similar kind of approaches. But the problem is. In here, the way Python actually indexing is a kind of like, a, uh, we, uh, that indexing does not include the, the very last letter. So three to five means only give us the three and four, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's the kind of things we have to keep in mind. Yeah. yeah so, and also if you want to like, uh, have it in the reverse, reverse order. We yeah. could do something like this, this, and then minus yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, which is a uh, which, yeah. which is which cool, is you know? the yeah. yeah, which is which is really cool, you know. Yeah, which is really cool. That is the we actually reading the reporting the backwards. So yeah, yeah, like backwards. Yeah. 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 So let me look at dictionaries. Mm -hmm. The chapter seems to be somehow long, but mm -hmm. yeah, I think we could uh, complete it. Uh, so dictionary in Python uh, on on ordered collections of unique uh, values stored in uh, unique uh, values stored in key value pairs. 
So like the dictionary is like this. So this is the key A and the mm -hmm. pair, the, the value is uh, 10. And the, the key B, the value is 20 and the key C, the value is 30. So it doesn't have, I, I think it doesn't have index, right? Yeah, because uh, in this case, because uh, when yeah. we try to do the tuples and list, mm -hmm. actually Python automatically numbers about the indexing of the each data elements within the tuples and list, right? Zero, one, and two, et cetera, right? It automatically numeric gonna be assigned to the each elements. That's the how those things works. But in the dictionary, we can actually customizing about the key indexing pairs. So that means instead of the using one and zero and one and two, assigned automatically assigned by the Py in Python, we yeah. can actually designating about the those those indexing index key values. So we have a we have a data spaces for ten, value ten, in the mm -hmm. in the in in the box called A. That's the how it works. So A is the like a key value. So which is the like a indexing value, like oh. a zero and one and two. Oh, so in, it's like basically like and list. the key the key value is basically assume as the sort of some kind yeah. of a, an, an index sort of yes so uh let me okay maybe i think that i think i can okay so this is how it works okay so in in the dictionary maybe in this case maybe in this case we yep. will have a 10 in the value right mm -hmm. and then uh key in that key gonna be the a yeah. Okay. But if we try to do maybe D equals like uh, 10, 20, 30, like a list, mm. in this case, we actually store our value 10, but indexing is zero. It is automatically assigned by the Python, right? And yeah. then, and then next one is the 20. And then this indexing gonna be one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then 30 gonna be, gonna, gonna be, be two. two, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But in, in this case, dictionary, 10 actually, uh, 10, uh, the value 10 actually has the key called A, okay. not the zero. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. And then 20, if we can store the 20, our key gonna be the B in yeah, this case. Yeah. Oh. And then like a 30, in this case, C. C. So yeah. our, so when we try to call the, these numbers, now we have uh, our own indexing key, key and value pair, pairs. So, that is a more flexible and more customizable kind of a, a data type. So actually in, in the in case of the list or tuples, we we can actually assign the this kind of a value and manipulate this value in case of the list, but we cannot actually customizing this indexing number, right? Mm. It it automatically assigned by the Python. Oh. by the order, right? Yeah. But in the dictionary, in this case, we can actually mm -hmm. customizing this key okay. of, of, on my own. Maybe mm -hmm. we can actually say about the, this one going to be AA or this one going to be BV or yeah, this yeah, one yeah. going to be CC. Yeah. That means our key going to be this, not this. So we can actually customizable have a power to customizable about the that key values mm -hmm. to to call the to call the that number. So so that's the how it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. That, thanks for that uh, explanation. So I continue. The dictionary or dict may be the most important built-in uh, Python yeah, dictionary is very important. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
uh, one approach for creating a, a dictionary is to use the curly braces uh, uh, and uh, columns to separate um, the key and the, the keys and the values like this. So this is an empty dictionary. So we could have a dictionary where that is the key and 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 that is the value associated with it. The, and it's separated by this uh, uh, column. Yeah. And then that's the the second key and that's the value. Yeah. So this this value it's like a uh, uh, yeah. at least yeah. Right. Yeah, so when we call D it gives us it gives us this. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that is also a very good thing about the dictionary because the dictionary can be can be uh store about the any data types like uh yeah. Or like a string as a one element, or maybe set of maybe maybe list with a multiple elements in it, cause the this yeah. this bracket is a list, right? And then inside of that list, there is a one, two, three, four multiple yeah. elements. Hmm. We can also take the those things, and then even tuple can be possible. I think that you can try tuple, maybe if you want. Because when we try to do, when you try to do the two pulls, you can also do that two pulls too, you know. Yeah, yeah, it should be possible. Yeah. 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 So it's like we could, uh, we could also append. We could add. Mm, yeah. Um, another key, and this will be the value associated with it, and yeah. like the key will be seven, and then the the value will be an integer. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so we could check in. We could use the keyword to see B. We we know that that's true. Yeah, we could use yeah. the del or the pop to delete. Yeah. Like I think we have mentioned yeah. this methods before. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so we could just move on. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the update method to merge one dictionary to another, or Oh, mm, okay. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, in the dictionary, maybe could you go up a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Cause uh, go up a little bit more. Cause yeah. uh, in here, like uh, uh, V in the D1 is the uh, true, and then Dell and pop method actually give you the kind of a uh, yeah, when you when you delete DL, DL and then delete and seven, actually this seven is the key. Yeah, here. it's like seven. Yeah, it's a key. Yeah, and then so they're gonna be like, deleted. Yeah, yeah. It was integer, so it was yeah, then it, it was deleted. Yeah. Have... And then uh in case of the pop method, hmm. you actually says about the when you try to delete the pop method, it actually give you about the this kind of a string. Yeah. Yeah, it gives yeah. you the value that is deleted. It it mentions yeah. that, oh, this is what yeah. is deleted. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then and then, then also only, it's only only B that yeah. remains in the in this yeah. dictionary now because we have deleted A. Yeah, yeah. and then now we, dictionary has a key and value, so we can actually extract the key, yeah, and also extract the values from the dictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We can use yeah. the dot keys or the yeah. dot values. Yeah. Yeah. And also item method, because item is a kind of a listing of the key and, and then, value pair. Yeah. 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 And then you can also uh check out that is the when 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 you try to do the D1 period item, that actually give you the about the tuple. But when you try to do the list function, it's gonna be become a list. And then this one is a kind of a one single element of the tuple. Within the that tuple, there is a two elements, like a B as a string, and then a list as a second yeah. element inside the tuple. And then a that that list, there is also four elements. So it's a keep nesting, nesting, nesting function can be possible. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe you could explain this uh, again. Sorry. Oh, uh, cause a. Uh, because uh, right, what I wanted to say is oh. now we actually, when you're looking at the, this, when you're looking at the, okay, let me write down annotating. Yeah. 
this one again. When you're looking at the, this one, okay? Yeah. Uh, actually, these, these are the one bracket, bracket in here, right? Yeah. That is the, that is a list with the one single elements. And then that single elements actually has the tuple type, right? Yeah, yeah. The parenthesis. Mm -hmm. And that tuple actually has the two elements, like a B and list call one, two, three, four, right? Yeah. And then uh, in the second elements of the that tuple elements, there is also another four elements within the dead list, which yeah. is the one and two and three and four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is a highly nested structure. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. it is a list. And then and then inside the list, there is a there is a one elements mm. that is the tuple. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then uh, inside the tuple, there is the two elements, right? Uh, one is the one is the B as the uh, string elements, uh -huh. and then uh, the other one is the one, two, yeah, the list. three, and four, right? Uh, and then this one is also list, right? Yeah, yeah, the list. Yeah. So inside the this list, there is also elements called one. Two, mm. three, and four. Yeah, and four. So you can just uh, see about the, this kind of a hierarchy. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, highest yeah. level is the list, mm -hmm. and then inside the list there is a one tuple, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then one that tuple actually consists of the two parts, two elements, which is the B as a string, and then a bracket with the uh, four elements as a list and then uh, that yes, inside yes. the list there is a four elements called one and two and three and four so yes. list uh, uh list nested with the tuple and that tuple actually nested with the list yeah yeah do you yeah, yeah, now yeah. do you understand yeah, the hierarchy yeah. of the yeah. structure yeah yeah it's kind of thanks yeah okay because yeah. uh this one is also the same thing because uh, it is a one one element list, right? But inside of that one element, so there is a, another list structure. Yeah, yeah. yeah right? Inside it, it is yeah. a one and two and three and four. There is a four elements within that list. And then that list also nested with the list as a single element, hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, so it is a uh, very very difficult to understand about the, this kind of data structure. And then, uh, these are the very very unique compared to R, because uh, R actually instead of the using this kind of approaches, R actually have a separate function like a matrices. Yeah, like R is yeah. Yeah, and and an array, right? Mm. And then we also have a vector. Vector is the vector is the very basic unit of the data structure. And oh. then row and column is the matrices. And then when we have a multiple matrices, we will have an array, right? Yeah. And also, also are also give uh, providing about the list function, right? And then within the list. We can combine the matrices, vectors, and arrays, everything. That's the R environment. But in Python, Python actually integrating the all of the these things as a single kind of a grammatic approaches. Like this. I think that this might be, I'm I'm explain this correctly or not, but these are the kind of a very unique kind of functions. So that's the reason why. Python has a very uh two has the tuple and dictionary and list function compared to the R. R actually has a vector matrix array and then a list, and then a, in case of the list can be combined 
uh, within the list in our environment, within the list, we can actually get an R uh, vector and matrices and array and anything within the list. But in here, I personally think that Python is a uh, just kind of a uh, everything is uh, just kind of uh, integrating to the to the one single kind of a uh, approaches. So that's what I understand. But yeah, it's the but what I wanted to say is it's a very very complicated kind of things. Yeah, so no, thanks, you, thanks, we thanks, have, yeah, we have to yeah. recognize that these kind of yeah approaches. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it uh, also uses the the update. The update is basically just you know to um maybe the update method is to match one dictionary into another. So we had this uh dictionary of yeah we just added uh the C and and twelve. And now yeah. the dictionary is this. Bef before we just yeah. had B and foo and now we have C and and twelve. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So creating uh dictionaries from uh, uh, sequences yeah we could have like this um, mm, sequence we could use the dict to convert it to uh, like a dictionary we have like this uh, a list which is it ranges from uh, zero to five um, um, he mentions the zip function we have the the zip function it gives the range and the reverse of the range so let's say from zero to four and then uh, four to zero, um, and then you have the 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 tuple. So we can use the dic like dictionary function to convert this tuple to a dictionary. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is uh, looks quite uh, cool. Yeah, it, it talks something about default values. Imagine uh, categorizing a list of words by by the as a dictionary of lists. So we have this example, we have what, uh, um, we have this sequence, what, uh, by letters, we like create a, a, an empty dictionary. Then we do, a, we use a, a for loop to get what we want. So basically what he wants is to uh, um, at least create a list of words which are identified by their they are first letter, so basically they are first letter being the key, and then the other values, uh, the others being the the letters itself or the words themselves being the value. So this was the end goal, and using a, a for loop in the uh, in the inside a dictionary to to do that. So it uses the uh, the the append method, and yeah. So when the first letter it's a uh, um, so for word in words, uh, letter is equals to the word, but mm -hmm. with the first element. If letter is not in uh, the empty the dictionary, uh, it's a uh, like it's equal to what else we we append it. Yeah, so uh, I think basically he's just um, showing us some of the, the cool things that we could do with uh, dictionaries, which also makes it, which is one of the reasons why it is one of the most important uh, built-in data structures in R. Uh, valid dictionary key types. Key uh, key Keys generally have to be uh, immutable objects like scalars or tuples for uh, hashability. To use a list uh, as a key, one most, one option is to convert it uh, to a tuple, which can so, uh, be uh, hashed as long as its element uh, can also be. So, so basically he's saying that the key has to be uh, immutable. The key in the, mm -hmm. in the dictionary has to be uh, uh, immutable. So, and, so that means that typically a list cannot be a key. If we want to do that, we have to convert it to a tuple. Then in that case, it could be a key. Like, like here, this is a list. Mm -hmm. So if we want to make it the key, we have to convert it to a tuple like that. And then it's a, it's a key. Yeah, if, if you have any comments, we'll move to sets. I know we don't have much time, but I think uh, we could still complete it.
So are you thinking about completing chapter three today or maybe we Yeah, can we could. do that to the next Yeah, week we could because do it next uh, week. Yeah, yeah, we it's all yeah, in time. we We have could just. too many too many things to cover. So Yeah, we could just complete sets and then yeah. start from functions. Uh, I think. Okay. Or uh, yeah, I think we should just look at sets and then the next week we could do the rest. Um, uh, sets in and Python. Um, um, it's it's sets is completely different from the others we've seen. It's different from um. Uh, two posts is different from list it's dictionary. A sets uh, doesn't maintain the order. It doesn't maintain the order. It's not important. Sets are immutable, like uh, like uh, tuples. Uh, we can modify the item. Set can uh, uh, contain data of all types. It doesn't allow duplicates, but the orders all the orders allow duplicate, but sets doesn't. Uh, can be created in two ways via the set. Uh, So it's like all these built-in data structures, we could construct them using their names, like the, the tuple function, the list function, and the dictionary function. We could use them like the dic to create uh, these data structures. Or via the set, uh, so this is a set. Um, mm. So it doesn't allow duplicates. So if you call it, it gives you this. It will drop out the, the duplicates. Uh, it it supports mathematical operations like union, intersection, mm -hmm. difference, and and symmetric difference. So like the union, like a mm -hmm. dot uh, union b, it gives you the union. Or we could also use this mm -hmm. uh, symbol for for the union, which gives you the union. And the intersection gives you the the, the elements that are common in both. So yeah. Mm. So here it gives a, a a lot of set operator operators, common operators. Yeah, these are a list of mm. common yeah. set operators that one might uh want to try. We, we we can see the pop. So the pop basically what it does is removes an arbitrary element from set A, uh, um, raising key errors if the set is empty. So it, yeah, if the set is empty, it indicates a uh, an error. Then you have the union, the update, intersection, intersection. So basically, there are a lot of uh, functions we could use to operate with uh, with sets. Um, all of the uh, logical set operators have uh, in place uh, counterparts, which enable you to replace the content of the set on the left side of the operation with the results. For very large sets, uh, this may be so. Like we could um, copy the um, elements of A and assign that to C, and this gives uh, this basically says that let's assign C to be the the union of uh, A and C, something like this. Mm -hmm. So first we copy the elements of A and assign that to C. Next. We assign C to be the intersection, or oh no, the union of uh, B and C. That is this. So uh, this is this could be very uh, uh, very useful. Like like he mentions, if you are working with large sets, you know it could be very useful. So uh, we could do that also with the intersection using the intersection, just like we did with the union. We can do the same thing with the intersection. Yeah. So set elements generally must be immutable, uh, and they must be like they must be hashable. So uh, I I don't know if you uh, looked at this, uh, you get this concept of this hashable concept. Uh, you can convert them to tuples as well. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we could also use the the. Uh, is a subset like we could say oh a set is equals to this and uh, one two three is a subset of set a which is true uh, a set is a superset of one two three which is also true so we could check whether something is a subset of a particular set or is a superset of a particular set yeah i think what is uh, a good thing yeah yeah we can stop here today yeah yeah I think, yeah that's fine we can stop here then yeah
I think mm. that it what is the good thing about the set is a kind of like a set allows us to store only only unique unique value of the data set. So it actually automatically removes the out uh, removes the duplicate, duplicate first. Yeah. yeah. And then based on that, it allows us to the intersect mm. like a uh, intersect the union or updating the our data set automatically uh, more easily you know while yeah. maintaining the maintaining the no duplicates so no duplicates and then updating the data set much easier yeah yeah cuz uh, maybe in our data set if we if we have a uh, too many duplicate funds duplicate record which we need to be clean up. In that case, maybe we can importing our data set as a set function, uh, set data type, and then uh, we can automatically remove the, all of the, those duplicates and then yeah. comparing, comparing those things into the maybe dictionary or list or maybe data frame for the, for the pandas. So that's the how set function going to be good about. Because it actually allows us to automatically remove the duplicate and then only keeps the unique value. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's cool, yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. And then uh, today you just, today we are actually covered the two post list and dictionary and set.